be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the position of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well, then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Back by popular consensus. We're going to do another savage edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. First comment comes from a vaguely familiar commenter named Marcelira. Now, if my memory of this individual is correct, I feel like he claimed to be some sort of federal postal judge and that he claimed to know Colin David Eiffel Wayne, Colin Miller, and Colin Russell Eiffel J. Colin Gould personally. Don't quote me on that. I feel like that's my memory of this individual, and they have come on my channel a few times in the last six years or so, criticizing, but yet coming on like they're friendly, and also coming on like they are in a position to tell me anything, when they have never, not once, ever demonstrated a correct sentence structure communication, parsing syntax grammar performance. Never have. And this continues on with that. And they say, brother, just checking in to see how you are doing. Now, keep in mind, this is an individual who has low-key come on my channel in the past and trolled. From my perspective, they've trolled. Because I'm doing something perhaps they don't approve of or whatever. So they're basically prefacing what they're about to say, or as we say, pre-qualifying what they say, coming on like friendly before they bring the hammer down. And they say, seen a few, F-U-E. I think they mean F-E-W, but I don't know why they would spell it that way. Seen a few posts on other sites about you. Some people are frustrated. I think one thing you shouldn't do if you teach, then don't make fun of others. You are defeating the purpose of the teach. Sorry for the adverb verb, just FYI. Well, Marcelira, I forgive you, okay? No need to apologize for your adverb verb because that's all you know how to use. You don't know how to use quantum grammar. You don't know how to use correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar. You don't know how to use the mathematical interface on grammar. So what else? What recourse do you have than to use a fictitious conveyance of grammar, fiction babble? Uh, obviously, they haven't read the terms and conditions of this comments field, and people are going to probably roll in their eyes right now. Oh, Jason and his terms and conditions. <laughs> if someone walks into your house, and you have a rule to take off your muddy shoes that have dog shit on them, and they keep their shoes on and walk in your house, what are you going to do? Even after you've said it multiple, multiple times, don't tell others what they should or shouldn't do in the comments field. This guy, who supposedly has some sort of knowledge, completely ignores that and continues to ignore it. I think that's why I banned him in the first place. But he continues to do it. You know, it's just part of the whole psychological mind game of the fiction. It's the fiction system that wants to tell you and me what we should or shouldn't do. That's fiction mentality. With correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, we don't do that. We only make claims for ourselves. We don't tell others what they should or shouldn't do because that is 
presumption assumption. That's saying that if I tell you what you should or shouldn't do, that's like saying I know what's best for you in your life. Even though you're a perfectly functioning, you know, whatever, mentally capable adult, I'm going to tell you what you should do. Even though you didn't ask me, I'm going to tell you because I know better than you. So I'm not sure what position this Marcel Lira has to think that they can tell me that I shouldn't make fun of others. I don't make fun of others. However, that's their perception of what I'm doing. And they're saying that there are some people who are frustrated. Well, too bad, so sad. As you will see in my kuleana to this, my written kuleana, which I will share with you as I scroll down, I do uh, give kuleana to that. Uh, they say, I declare under penalty of perjury is what again? In the math. <laughs> what the hell is this guy talking about? Miller and I did this back in the day 11 years ago, and I'm curious what you see. I have no idea what this guy is talking about. I declare under penalty of perjury, comma, space, is what again? Well, Marcel, why don't you tell me what you think it is? And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. How about that? So here's what I wrote for my Kuleana to this guy. Um, with the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule and rule equal. I said, by the content of your comment, I'm guessing you neglected to read the rules of my comments field, of which you are a guest. The amount of correct sentence structure knowledge you probably possess is exactly the same amount as the value I give to what others say about me. That's in reference to his some people being frustrated with me. I could give two shits. If you have something of substance to say, or if you are a long lost family member, you called me brother, or if you'd actually like to learn correct sentence structure, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I'm betting you won't. Include your full correct name if you dare. Thank you. And then I go on to say, ah, I remember who you are now. And you certainly are not my brother. And you are certainly not my brother. Are you still disqualified by RJG? Or have you bowed and scraped enough to get back in his good graces? That's what these folks do, man. They just come in, they hit and run, they do a little trolling, and then, uh, and then they pull back and, and watch the show, I suppose. That's a guess on my part as to what this individual does. But what I do know about this individual, and in the context of this channel, they have little to no correct sentence structure knowledge. And really, just to be straightforward and blunt, which I always am, and I don't know why I got to preface it with that. I don't care if you knew David Wynn Miller personally, or if you know Russell J. Gould personally. That does not have any bearing on your correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge level. If you can't demonstrate, if you can't perform, if you can't show that you have that knowledge, that you can syntax with 100% correctness and give closure to it, if you can't create a correct sentence structure communication 100% with your facts positioned with the correct positional concatenation, no particles of negation and all that stuff, if you can't do any of that, then you don't have closure on the grammar and you have no position to tell anyone else in that domain what to do or not do. I left my email address. Next comment comes from Epic Lights 2860. Thank you for your membership. They say any adept practitioner of common law, unless it is a members only platform or members only format, I doubt you will find them online. Hmm, that's interesting. For example, any encounter with a police officer at a road stop or checkpoint without any argument or debate, documents, chit-chat, or threatening behavior would usually not last more than one, two minutes. Proof? Evidence? Hmm, do you have any? 
I've never seen any. I've never seen evidence of what this individual is saying. Unless you invite them, this would usually be the case in court or with any government official. Common law is mostly our conduct. Actually, common law is mostly our conduct? From my position, common law is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. It is part of the fiction. Now, it works for some folks. It does work for some folks for a finite amount of time. But I have folks that have been practicing, practicing common law for 10, 15, even 20 years come to me wanting to learn correct sentence structure because their common law uh, techniques have stopped working. And I explained this many times in many videos. The reason why common law begins to fail is because it is fiction. It's using fiction against fiction. And if you're going to go into someone else's jurisdiction, which you're doing when you use common law, you're going into the grammatical jurisdiction of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, the masters, so to speak, of that jurisdiction will always win because they have the bigger guns and clubs and because they can change and modify the way they do things to deal with whatever you're doing. So if you're trying to use their regulations, statutes, codes, rules, laws, legalities, whatever, against them, all they have to do is change it and modify it and adjust it to deal with whatever you're doing, and then they nullify you. It's very simple. It's simple logic. To me, anyways, it's simple logic. To you, maybe not so much. I don't know. I'm not going to assume for you. But what I am going to say is that if you learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, all of that gets pushed off the table because now you have created a geometric level playing field of grammatical contract. And then what you do is invite the fiction up there to step out of the fiction and communicate with a mathematical certification of correctness. And they just won't do it. That's why, for those of you, those very, 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 very few folks out there who learn this, that's why this works. When you know it. And Epic likes... 2860 obviously doesn't know it. So whomever they are, if they want to learn it, they're more than welcome to email me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a correct grammar workshop. And uh, please include your full correct name. Next comment comes from Pi314 and they say, I have done extensive research about the creation of consciousness. Time and space are not intrinsically a product of the timeline of consciousness. Carl Kaleman and I regularly discuss many details of this creation. Carl's reply, well, yes, what people talk about the Big Bang 13.787 billion years ago is the emergence of matter in the universe. The evolution of consciousness, which is primary, began 2.5 billion years ago before this. I was asking here about the difference of 16.4 billion year plan and timeline and the established 13.8 billion year proposed Big Bang, Big Bang happening. My coolie to that is, I also enjoy researching such topics of assumption and presumption because that's exactly what they are. How are you going to certify 13.787 billion years? You're not. At the end of the day, none of it can be certified as fact. Time in and of itself is a particle of negation in the context of correct sentence structure. And you, Pi, can certify that by looking it up in an etymology dictionary. Something you can actually look at and get closure with. Or, I mean, come to your own closure. Next comment comes from Tin Rib Music and they say, I can only laugh from this homework. Identity, non-contradiction, and middle ground of the law of the excluded middle. Join with your reasonableness. Colon Jonathan hyphen Simon colon Bell. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I could contribute to your laughter. Although I don't 
quite cognize what you're conveying here. Thank you very much for your membership. Now we have a series of comments from some nom de guerre named BJH-SI5FR, and they say, so I've got some red flags. Number one, you use Doc Latin. Number two, the American flag. Number three, you use your surname. Well, let's address those red flags. Number one, you use Doc Latin. No, I don't. Number two, the American flag. No, I don't. And number three, you use your surname. Number three, I use the name that I have claimed on my correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar claim of the live life. I have taken copyright copying claim stewardship of that name. It is not a surname. Surname means no name. If you parse it, BJH, you will find that surname means no name. SUR means the same as SUB or SUP. Uh, if you'd ever want to learn correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar to fully cognize what I'm conveying to you, again, email address at the bottom of the screen. Please include your full correct name. And then they go on to say, hi, Matthew. <laughs> Not only do they address me wrong, but they also spell the name wrong. Matthew is my middle name. I don't know how many times I've said, please call me Jason, but I digress. I like your work. Thank you. I have a question for you. Okay. Why do you know what dog Latin is? Why do I know what dog Latin is? Because I looked it up. Why do you write in dog Latin? I don't. That was easy. Thanks for the comments. Next comment comes from Lundov. And they say, good morning, Jason. I support Semtex grammar. Not sure what that is. Not a great knowledge. 64 views in 8 hours. Thank you for doing the job of YouTube analytics, Lundov. Shooting the messenger with the knowledge of a fact is not a great idea. Well, maybe you can convey to me what a great idea is. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Always willing to learn. Are you offering help? Well, Lundov, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, you're more than welcome to email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Please include your full correct name, and you can apply for a workshop. Now, I've made this offer like two or three times to this whoever this individual is, and they have never taken me up on it, so it's a moot point. I guess I'm just talking just to talk. And that's what happens with folks like these a lot of times. When they're invited up onto the geometric level playing field, they run like scared little children. My impression. Next comment comes from member Dharma Science Radio, and they say, CSSCPSG built different. And then I say, you are missing a position lodial phrase. And what I mean by that is, and, and this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about if you really want to get serious about this stuff, especially correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, using it, typing it out and everything, you got to proofread what you're writing. And this individual missed probably one of the most important things, and that is putting a position lodial phrase in front of their abbreviation, which simply means putting a full colon tied up against the first C in their compound fact. Again, if you want to apply for workshops, yada, 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 email address. Another comment from Dharma Science Radio, and they say, for the consequences of the fear are with the trolls of the YouTube by this commenter hyphen perception, period. Lots of stuff going on here, and again, applying for a workshop, getting serious about it. The grammar is uh, my suggestion to this individual because I have communicated with this individual before in uh, consultations and, and things like that, and they're a very nice individual. Um, so they know, if they want to get serious about it, what they can do. So what I'm going to do is our, um, 
audit their sentence. Consequences, particle of negation and consequences. If you take the word sequences, S-E is a particle of negation in there. That's why I don't use the word sequence in my correct sentence structure contracts. So there's a particle of negation and consequences of the fear are with the trolls of the YouTube. Now the correct sentence structure positional concatenation is incorrect. And it voids the mathematical interface on the grammar. So therefore, this is not correct sentence structure. You would never ever precede by the with of the you have to have a with the in there so basically we have for as a pronoun the as an adverb consequences as an adjective of as a pronoun the as an adverb fear is an adjective are is an adjective, with is a pronoun, the is an adverb, trolls is an adjective, of is a pronoun, the is an adverb, YouTube is an adjective, by is a pronoun, this is an adverb, and commenter hyphen perception is a compound dangling participle verb. And there's your syntax lesson for the day. You're welcome. Final comment comes from Dennis Thompson, and they say, Hi, Jason. Dr. Barry does know a little bit about correct sentence structure, but learned from others that are not very fact-based correct sentence structure. So in other words, Dr. Barry knows almost zero about correct sentence structure, and they learn from others who also know zero about correct sentence structure. As I have tried talking to him about a product he does make and get donations for, common law license. Period, space, Dennis, hyphen, Michael, colon, space, Thompson. Dennis, I know you've said in the past that you've learned to correctly write your name. Your name is not written correctly there. You must have a full colon tied up against the D in Dennis in order for that to be correct sentence structure. Communication parts say syntax grammar because all of our facts must be position by position, lodial phrases. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.